Good morning, everybody. This is the second video, I believe. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of different things that I got for the turd. One, because I'm excited about it, and I know I'm going to forget if I don't show you right now, is the new carpet kit. Wow. Cool. It was kind of a pain in the ass to get in. If, you ever, if you've ever done a carpet kit, you would understand. But it's not impossible. All you need is a razor blade and uh, a little bit of time and lots of patience. Came out pretty good. This is the saddle color from the stockinteriors.com. And they say that it covers, uh, I think it's a 75 to 83 or something like that. It covers two different body styles. It's kind of kind of weird how they section it out. And it did. It came out you know, several inches too wide and too long and this and that. You, you definitely have to cut it down. But it, it, is, a, it is built for a, for a tunnel here. The other issue I have with it is that it's still a little bit like there's too much material in the middle. So I eventually am going to be building some sort of a little center console Probably speaker box slash uh, cup holder. I'm going to put it right there and I'll hide that or cut it in the middle and lap it over and tighten it up or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So there it is. That's the first thing I wanted to show you guys. It's pretty cool. The turd's getting freshened up. <coughs> pretty soon, I've got to take the dash apart. I'm going to replace that dashboard that I was telling you about earlier um, in the previous video so that it doesn't look like human skin was stretched over the dash. I'm going to put the stock brown dash back in. And while I'm there, I've got to do a couple of things. The speedometer does not work. It used to. It doesn't anymore. It just stopped working. So I'm not sure if it's the cable or if it's on the transmission side or if it's the gauge or a combination of those problems. But I've got to figure that out. And I'm going to look into that while I have it all torn apart. The other thing I need to look into is the tachometer, which used to work, no longer works. So I'm not exactly sure what wire to check, what where it gets its signal from. I imagine it's from the distributor or from, from the coil, rather, but um, I'm not exactly sure how that works. So if anybody has any insight on that, uh, chime in, please. All right. Now, yesterday, after work, pressure washed all day. It sucked. After work, I got hit up by a Facebook guy that I, I'm, uh, I guess, friends with now because I finally met him in person. And he sold me some wheels for hopefully this truck. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. They're the uh, the D ring hole, black rims, you know, black steely rims with the D shaped holes in them, um, with you know, with that red and blue stripe around the edges. And I, that's kind of the look I was going for. But these are 16 inches, and that's pretty big. What you're looking at right now is the stock rims on the truck, and they're 14 inches. So, bam, those are the rims. I have all four of them. Uh, these ones, I'm going to mock up for you here in a second. They're pretty big. I got them for 50 bucks for the full set. You know, they're not perfect. They're dirty as hell, but they've got a they've got a couple little imperfections around the rim here, like, you know, that kind of stuff. But he says it holds a bead, and, you know, for 50 bucks, it's whatever. So I'm going to mock them up right now. Ta-da! You know, I don't actually hate them as much as I thought I would. They're a little big. I prefer 15 inch for sure, but I'm definitely digging the look of the all black rims with the black tires. So it's already an improvement in my opinion. Uh oh. And here's the test fit of the 16 inch rim. I like it. It's not as big as I thought it was going to look on the truck, so that's cool as far as looks go. And it also has just the right amount of tuck. Poke, not tuck, whatever. Pretty much flush. Just a hair over, I'd say. Which is perfect. I'm sure it'll look pretty good in the back, too. Not too worried about that. Uh, I'm worried about it rubbing my fenders when I turn. And I definitely have concerns about that. It is resting, not on the jack right now, but it's it's laid it's laid out on the ground. I put a, um, a ripped 2x6 down there. I just had lying around. It's approximately the width of what the tire would probably be on, you know, underneath the rim. So now I gotta figure out a way to turn it. See if uh, I can visualize kind of, you know, a tire to go around it. See if I can visualize what it's gonna do when I turn. I'm pretty sure it's gonna rub. 
but I just don't know. I got these mint new wheels for the turd. I'm hoping they're going to fit. Uh, let's see what size they are. Let's see. Uh, oh no, those are definitely not going to work. There we go. A little dirty. I'm going to test fit these guys. Uh, they got good tires on them. They came black, um, so I actually went through there uh, actually like a month ago, probably even a little bit more than a month ago at this point, and put some of that uh, paint stripper stuff on there. Did a couple of layers, and it brought it back to this. So if these do work, um, which I don't think they will because of the, the lowered factor on the turd, then I'm going to run them. If they don't work, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll put them on Charmander, that red pickup, if I end up keeping it. A big part of uh, you know why I don't really necessarily, I'm not excited about Charmander anymore is because, I mean, as cool as he looks, god damn does he rub. Like, he's rubbing right now probably just looking at him. So, oh, he does look cool though. I don't know. I don't know. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to, I'm just going to jack the front end of this thing right here and what I've been running into, of course, is, you know, it, it it impacts parts of the fender and stuff with it being lowered. So I'm even considering, you know, taking the the lowering block out of it and raising the torsion bars back up. But I really do like the idea of it being lowered. So let's try it. Fuck it. That's just to give you a size comparison. That's the wheel that was just on it. And it is... I'm kind of just getting back to this video, so... I've already told you the, the sizes. I'm sorry. These are 185, 70 R14s that are on it right now. And what I'm going to try to fit right now, which probably aren't going to work, are 225, 70 R14s. So, a few sizes up. Let's see if they fit. All right, let's lower her down. See what we got. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's definitely going to rub, though. It's going to rub so bad. But I really like the look of these. Damn it. What am I going to do? It looks so much more aggressive than these, like, wimpy little stock steelies that are just sucked in so much. I mean, let me show you. Let me show you this other side. I mean, it's kind of cool for like a lowered pickup, I guess. Like it, it works. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ready for a change. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw the other one on the front. I do have four of them, by the way. Just didn't show you that, but maybe I'll throw the other one on the on the front there and go see how bad it rubs and rips up my fenders. Oh man, it's killing me. I'm gonna have to lift it back up. Damn. It looks so cool. So much better than it than it did. I think I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. Obviously a pain in the ass I didn't want to have to deal with, but if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit over the rough ride anyway. It's cool, but I think I can get away with more performance mods later. <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. But I, I could definitely do uh better better burnouts and stuff. I can have more fun with it in this form, I think. Sure does make the truck look tough. What I'm thinking about doing is um, raising up the torsion bars a little bit because on the driver's side, it's basically touching. Like, I can get... I can jam my finger in there. Ugh. Um, and obviously, that's without any articulation. So, that's definitely going to hit immediately. Um... Even worse than that, the passenger side is already touching. Shit, this guy's here to buy a saw. I gotta go. 
See you in the next clip. All right, just got done doing the first round of torsion bar tightening. Um, I tightened both sides 15 times. They were completely loose and they were even. So always make sure when you're when you're doing that kind of stuff, make sure you do it at the same pace, um, obviously. But yeah, just make sure of it. I'm not really gonna get into how to do it. It's very simple. There's lots of YouTube videos on how to do that. So just wanted to show you where we're at so far. We're already up probably, oh, an inch, I'd say, about an inch. So up 15 times. Um, I imagine it's going to get, it's it's going to go up further, um, a lot faster now. So like if I did another 15, it probably wouldn't be two inches up. It'd probably be a lot further. Um, from what I remember, I think I did like 25 or 30, 30 drops from the stock position. So, um, that's my guess right now. I'm going to throw on the rear tires just to make sure. Cause not only am I, am I trying, trying to, you know, get my clearance for my fenders on the front, but I also don't want it to look like super weird because it does have a drop block in the back still, um, which I'll probably end up, I'm probably going to end up having to bring this back to stock height. But um, if that's the case, I'm going to have to take that block out. So I'm just not sure yet. So it's kind of a balance issue between making the truck look level and definitely making sure that I don't rub as much as possible on the front end. Okay, I got this side of the back wheel on. And so far, so good. It looks, at least from here, it looks almost perfect as far as the clearance goes from the fenders. Both the front and the back look about even. And from what I can tell, this does not bottom out. I'm not going to be able to tell. I can't put enough weight against it, but I was I was on it. Um, whether or not that's going to rub in a speed bump, I don't know yet. But, you know, as long as it doesn't, you know, bump my perfect body here, then uh, I'll be happy. Gotta fix that eventually. Or not, I don't know. This, this is why I call it the turd. Pretty grody. Nothing's really rusted through yet, but it's close. I'm gonna do the other side now. One more final glance. Just how stupid those old wheels look. Look how stupid they look, come on. I got these uh, wheels and tires that I'm putting on right now for 75 bucks on Craigslist. They're uh, five by four and a half, I wanna say which is the five leg Toyota pattern, obviously. No spacers or nothing, this is, I, I guess I'm just gonna lift the truck back up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so my metric of measurement is just gonna be eyeballing it. And from what I can see on this side, but I think more so on the other side, is that I could, I could, uh, I could stretch the front just a little bit more without it looking kind of weird, without it not being even looking. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there, but let's see if you can see it from this angle. Yeah, I can definitely notice it from this angle. The gap from the wheel well and the front wheel is a tiny bit smaller than the rear, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it like five more, bringing it a total of 20 on both sides on the torsion bar, um, on the torsion bars rather, and then see where that takes me. But even if I had to leave it right here, I think I'm happy with this because it's, it's only, it's only going to rub if, you, if you're driving it spiritedly. Uh, or aggressively <laughs> and if you're going over speed bumps too fast you know that's when it's going to rub but even then it was just kind of like a little a little chirp nothing bad it didn't bend my fenders front or rear any of the corners and you know what i'm actually pretty fucking stoked this looks pretty good yeah way better than those stock rims and tires oh and i gotta show you one thing on one of those stock rims um, oh, I read the tire rather. Oh, boy, I've been letting my wife drive this truck. That's not good. Let's see, where is it? Mm -hmm. Well, you can see the cracking. Okay, not so good. Look how cracked that is on the actual tread, too. I don't know if that was on the front or the back, but either way, not okay. All right, so after bringing both torsion bars up five more turns, tightening them rather to bring it up, I think I went a little past where I want. So now in the front, the gap is a little bit bigger than the gap in the rear. Hopefully you can see that. Just in case, I'm gonna show you from a different angle.
it's not so bad. It's livable. I think I'm going to take it on a cruise really quick and let it settle in. Make sure that it that I that I did in fact go too far. But you can see it on both sides. It's kind of the case. And I jumped on the fenders a little bit, or I sat on the front fenders after I adjusted it to kind of pre-settle it. But I think it's a little bit too tall on the front still. So let's take it for a rip. See what we get. Uh, a little bit of rubbing, but not not so bad. All right, guys. So in conclusion, I ended up going with the chrome rims, which I'm going to eventually paint black. They look way better. They fit. Um, after I ended up having to raise the front end back up, it's still sitting on three inch lowering blocks on the rear, and it gives it a little bit of a squat, a tiny bit after it's kind of been driven. Uh, actually, not really. I mean, honestly. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I may need to um, go down, actually, a little bit in the front. You can't really tell from this angle, but from this other one you can. It's a little bit more squatted in the back than it is in the front. The lighting's terrible, but my wife reminded me as she was editing this that I don't have a, an exit here. So um, I ended up going with these. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. I'm going to fine-tune it a little bit more as I go. I may or may not film that but that's that's where I'm going to be at here. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that those black rims that I was trying to fit earlier, um, I went to my tire shop and uh, the, the guys over there said they weren't going to work with it being that low and that I would have to, at the very least, raise it back up or figure out something else, maybe a different offset. They weren't willing to help. They're buddies of mine, but they're, you know, they're production guys. They, they just want to get it done. They don't want to sit here and, and fuck around with different offsets and stuff so that's why I try to come prepared but those 16 inch rims are not gonna work they never were I did end up having to raise the truck like I said but I ended up using these 15 inch rims which to me makes more sense it looks better it has a better oh I mean sorry 14 inch rims yikes it has a better overall look to it proportion and they were cheaper I got wheels and tires for 75 bucks and you know here we are they're good to go. So, hey, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I do have more videos coming. My name is Legacy Northwest. As you can see, I've got several of these. More videos on that coming very soon. But for now, I really appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, please like and subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff, the internet jazz, because um, yeah, it inspires me to do more of this kind of stuff. You know, I think my end goal with this is to get content out there so that people kind of you know get excited about my projects get excited about their own projects and we can all kind of grow as a community because I, I think there's a lot of growth to be had in the community about these old trucks and other vehicles as well and even if there isn't it's still fun you know hopefully me and my wife's journey inspire you guys to do your own videos um, the more the better because I know at the end of the, any given day that I have you know, um, working out in the rain, <laughs> working on Subarus, working on Chevys, working on Toyotas, working on Fords, you know, miscellaneous projects. I, I know that at the end of the day, I like to get home and watch videos, car videos specifically. My wife will disagree with that, but that's my, that's my ideal thing. So I know a lot of you guys feel the same way. So join in the cause, start making your own videos or at least like and subscribe. All right. Happy New Year's, guys. Happy to 2020. God, 2020, huh?
Anybody floating around in hover cars yet? Not me. I can't afford that shit.